Tervetuloa Berliinin legendaariseen Winterkartenin varjeteeteatteriin, jossa on startannut lopuuden japanin teemainen uutuussou Sanra Tokio. Ja meillä on haastattelussa japaninkielinen pääosalaulaja Juri Yoshimura. Um, it's a huge honor to be able to work in such an amazingly beautiful theater. I've known this theater before actually, so it's pretty famous in Berlin, so I feel very happy and honored to be here. Yes, and you are one of the lead singers of the show Sayonara Tokyo, a show that's been described as the most lavish show in Winter Garden's uh, big history. I saw this show just a couple of days ago and I'm still dazed by it. Uh, how was uh, working in a show for you? Um, it was amazing um, and a challenge in many ways actually. Um, especially with my Japanese, I haven't been speaking Japanese for a long time, so um, I had to practice a lot. And but you know, it was a great working environment. The people that I'm working with just are all amazingly talented and funny, and we have a great time. How are you feeling about the great reviews? I feel re really happy that this kind of rare show about Japan um, received a great reaction from the audience. Um, so you know, we work really hard for it, so that it got paid off. It makes me really happy. Yeah, um, you studied in Austria, if I'm correct. Uh, yes, what can nice. you? Uh, how did you steer in musical direction? Um, I yes, I studied musical theater at Sunrise Studios in Vienna, and well, it was when I first saw Rent in Tokyo, actually, with a Broadway cast when they were on tour. That's after I saw this amazing musical, um, I thought that, that this is what I want to do. Um, but you know, my parents were also really, um, they introduced me to the theater world since I was little. So we, I used to watch many musicals and plays um, since I was little. So it was, I guess, uh, a long time dream for me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meant to be, basically. Yes, I hope so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you had an amazing career already and it take it's it has taken you all all around the globe basically. Uh what are the most memorable uh moments for you? Oh, uh many actually, but um a chorus line, when I did a chorus line in Austria, um uh, that was for me really special because Bayer Klee who was actually original cast on Broadway. Um, she came to Austria and cast uh, me to play her role. That was for me the most memorable thing, um, to be a part of this amazing production. So that was really memorable. Uh, where do you think your uh, performances will take you next? You are now mm. working in Berlin, where to next? I would you know, love to um, continue in Europe, um, hopefully in Germany. <laughs> Um, and yeah, um, I have many goals, so I will. I want to focus on Europe right now. Maybe America or Japan later. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That'll be great. Okay, thank you very much, Yuri, and all the best for the future. Thank you so much. Joo, ja meillä on haastattelussa Jojo Taiteilija Nato Okada. Uh, Nato. Very much. Uh, thank you for being with us. Yeah. First of all. Uh, we are in the legendary Wintergarten uh, Theater. What does uh, working in such historic theater mean to you? Yeah, that's very big pleasure for me. And uh, now I'm working about uh, four years in Germany, also some variety. And every artist and every variety theater say Wintergarten is one of the very special variety in Germany. So I'm big, big pleasure to work in here. Uh, you perform in the new show Tokyo Sayonara that yeah. has been described as the most lavish show in Midgarda's yeah, history. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how would you describe the show for us? How is uh, Sayonara yeah, Tokyo? Yeah, that is a very, it's very crazy show. I really like it. It's uh, usually in Europe people uh, heard about the Japan. Uh, people imagine about uh, yeah sushi and ninja and samurai or something like that. But yeah. we have. Uh, a lot more we touch more deep things in Japan so yeah that's yeah that's a really good show I really like it and uh, also so if you don't know Japan you can like Japan when after watching the show
so do you think uh, if you don't know Japan, if you've never been, uh, this show might help you a bit? It's, yeah, uh, it shows Japan like it really is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think, yeah, yeah. And if if people knew Japan before to visit, also it makes more yeah funny and catch. Ah, oh, that looks like ah, oh, I remember like this. But also if it, if you didn't know, that's getting funny. I think. Uh, yes, uh, you are a yo-yo performer. How would you describe the art of yo-yo for us? <laughs> I think you knew the yo-yo. It's uh, like a toy for kids. Of course, when I was young, I started to just play yo-yo like usual for others. Then I got the skills. So I think people found catch the remember about the kids. When, when they are kids but uh, also people found the very new things wow what is this ah this is really yo-yo something like that also i can do the yo-yo with music with connection also with dancing so yeah. uh, you are also two-time uh, world champion of yo-yo uh, how is the competitive uh, yo-yo uh yeah the yo-yo contest is always uh music and the rule is uh, three minutes the freestyle the show and uh, how is the difficulty how is the connecting with music how is the moving and total point is uh, uh, who is the win like that then yeah of course I can do very difficult trick and moving and music and connecting also most important things is no mistake yeah. and I did it that two times. Yeah. Is ah, Jojo yeah. uh, a yeah. big thing at the moment? Uh, not like 90s it's uh, mm. it was yeah 90s it's all over the world yes. has a yo-yo big boom everybody start yo-yo the cool, uh, Jojo's. yeah 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 Jojo's yeah yeah big booms and but now uh, of course getting less it's uh, than like tw uh, 20 years ago, it's 90s. Yeah, but now we have a lot of the deep community. So when people want to start the yo-yo, people can start very easy and they found more community all over the world. So now we have a more deep community all over the world. Yeah. How would you see your um, uh, career so far and where do you see yourself going next from Berlin? From Berlin. Yes, <laughs> where to next? Yeah, uh, of course, I'm um, at this moment, I'm not interested too much about the career, but I want to be more good artist, show artist. If I get grow up, I think very automatically get something career. So I don't look so much about the something, but always I want to be grow up at this moment. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Naoto, yeah, and uh, yeah. all the best for you thank in the future. Yeah. Uh, tässä siis jututimme taiteilija Naoto Okadaa Berliinin Winterkartenin uudesta Sayonara Tokio varjoteeshowsta. Ilman suurempaa mainosta voin suositella paikkaa ja soita jokaiselle Berliinin kävijälle, eli kiitos ja näkemiin.